Yeah, last year was obviously difficult. Um, I didn't make any secret um, about it being tricky with obviously, you know, with a few chatter issues and so on. But um, we got, you know, we, we got through the year at the end of the day and in, in, in that was that. But yeah, it was a disappointment. But in the same aspects, it, it, it's probably made us stronger for, for coming into this year. So uh, what's that saying? Every cloud, some silver lining, I think. I don't know. But um, yeah, no, looking forward to, to sort of putting that behind us now. I thought the condensed year last year might have actually played in our favour a little bit, kind of come, come out swinging. But... Uh, we kind of, uh, I probably underestimated and the team a little bit that the effect that these new tyres were going to have um, on the bike. In, in, to be honest, when we had such a good package in 19, we didn't change it for 2020 because why would you? But then the tyres for us obviously made such a massive difference. So, yeah, we, we've learned from it. We've done a lot of work over the winter to come into 2021, you know, a lot, lot stronger and better now. In, um, looking forward to, to getting going really, obviously we've had a couple of days at Silverstone um, and the Silverstone was for us a bit of a, I've not rode since the last round of, of 2020 um, and in 2020 we had obviously the issue so Silverstone was nice to put every theory into practice that we had over the winter in and actually get kind of the results we wanted from it. No, 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 um, it was, it was <clears throat> good, really good, and, and you know I didn't. We didn't need any more. Um, we called it a day with sort of half hour, twenty minutes. I think when when Josh crashed, um, we kind of decided that that do now we had achieved what we wanted to achieve, um, and that was it. But we there was some sort of fundamental things we wanted to test on the bike. Um, we didn't run some of the new component components on the bike that we're running for here. Um, so, you know, there's some, some more bits we need to sort of analyse and test. But Silverstone was good because last year we, we really struggled the last couple of sort of two corners out. And because it's the national track, if you struggle one corner, it can make a big effect on the timesheet. So Silverstone was good because we we done a lot of long runs on, um, I think we were like most of the sets of tyres, we were sort of well over 40 laps on them. And the race is only 30 laps, so we we were we were good. You know, I, I felt happy and felt confident and felt comfortable. Um, there was part of me that kind of wished, not wished, but would have liked to have done a time attack. Obviously, I know a lot of the riders did, um, but ultimately, what you know, you don't get nothing from it. It's just a bit of a bit of an ego, I guess. But um, I guess if I turned back the clock, I probably would have, because I felt really good on the bike again and, and had a smile on my face. Normally then when I go for a time attack, putting a new rear tyre, um, I can kind of pull something strong out the bag. But yeah, we, we me and Wilf decided to, to save it. And, um, you know, hopefully if the weather turns here, it, it's net, then we'll uh, no doubt maybe um, maybe show show a little bit of our hand, you know, for, for the coming year. Um, package wise is not drastically different. You know, obviously we're, you know, theoretically still on the same V4R. Um, we've got new components on the bike. You know, the team have done a lot of, of engine work. Um, so it's faster, you know, more horsepower, all the sort of numbers that you would like to see. But, um, the, you know, in theory, it doesn't always work on track. But the really, for me, the the thing coming into this season is, is to, to build. Um, to build and be sensible in some aspects because the way the year is, you can't you can't afford to get an injury. Um, we've got a lot of back-to-back -back rounds. It's a condensed, you know, into a, a small amount of months really to make 11 rounds. Um, and we, so we got to be a bit sensible. You know, the goal is not to go out and try and win, you know, every race from from round one. But in the same aspects, we are starting at Alton Park, which is a strong circuit for me. Um, we still owe the lap record there, so I know I'm fast there. I know the bike can work well there. Last year we, we struggled there, but I think we should be able to come out the block swinging. Um, you know, we've got new swinging arms in, in all these sort of bits that, that should work and should make us faster and stronger. So, like I say, the testing plan programme for us is, is quite important. So losing today because of obviously 42 mile an hour wind and rain is, is not ideal, but, you know, for safety, it's, it's also not worth even remotely thinking about trying to go out. So. Yeah, like I say, just looking forward to, um, to getting going. And, and 
honestly, it's, it's sort of cliche as it sounds, I, I felt really happy again at Silverstone. Last year was a bit of a a bit of a, a drag, like, you know, because we just couldn't get on top of the issues where Silverstone, I felt so, so much happier on the bike, felt so much better. It was just nice to smile and enjoy racing a motorbike again. So, yeah, looking forward to getting 2020 underway. Sorry, 2021 underway.